Welcome back. Today I'm out here playing fetch in this open field, demonstrating how consistent exercise and training are so essential for working with breeds like Cane Corsos. Your level of success with your Cane Corso will be a direct correlation to the time you invest. It's that simple. And a large portion of that time should be an exercise resume. Tonka's really excited. This is his first time back since his shoulder injury, so I'll be sure not to overdo it. A Kane Corso requires this exercise every day. If you don't love the work, this may not be the breed for you because they're gonna test you and they're gonna push you over and over again. Honestly, it's not that hard to understand. A working dog needs a job. If you don't make one, they'll create their own. And what we can't have is an animal of this size and determination making decisions on their own. Gotta love their enthusiasm. It's just infectious. It makes me always wanna bring them here. I usually bring two frisbees or a frisbee and a ball. Today I somehow forgot the other toy, so Tonka will try to keep the frisbee to himself until I ask him to release it. Kani Corsos are naturally strong, protective, and intelligent. Without enough exercise and mental stimulation, they can quickly become frustrated. That frustration can easily turn into destructive behavior. By providing structured exercise like off-leash play in a safe, open space, we're ensuring they get the physical and mental engagement they need. For their safety, both dogs are wearing e-collars today. These aren't just for control. They're backup tools to reinforce recall if needed. In a wide open area like this, I want to make sure they come back when called, even if they get distracted. Off leash training in an open field just isn't about letting them run. Starting from when they're puppies, this kind of training teaches them to stay attentive and to build trust with their handler. Kani Corsos are large, powerful dogs. If they're not paying attention, they can quickly get too far away or become over-focused on something else. Here, they learn their boundaries and understand what distance is allowed between us. This consistent training reinforces that roaming off too far or ignoring commands isn't acceptable. Anytime they stay too far or get distracted, they get gently corrected. This isn't punishment. It's part of setting expectations, so they know exactly what's acceptable and what isn't. Exercising your Connie Corso isn't just a physical activity. It's a bonding experience that teaches them to work with you. When they're mentally engaged, they're more fulfilled, balanced, and much less likely to develop bad habits at home. For anyone with a Kane Corso or thinking about getting one, remember, exercise and training go hand in hand. Start early, stay consistent, and you'll see a happier, healthier dog for years to come. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave any questions about training or off-leash tips in the comments below.